on this blended whiskey, it says, uh, 17 year old is, is reverse, uh, revered whiskey, complex and vibrant, with honeyed sweetness and hints of oak and peat smoke. Golden amber color and deep, elegant nose. This is a complete, luscious whiskey full of subtle. Subtly? Subtle. No. Sub, s subtly. Character and color. So it's supposed to be uh, undertoned. Okay. So this is the nose is supposed to be pretty explosive. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. This is. Vibrant and hints of oak mm. and smoke. Of course, it's handicapped because of this glass. Mm. 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 Yeah, there we go. Holy crap. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Whopper. Mm -hmm. This is the Whopper Junior. Well, I mean, it's unfair to compare these two. No, but I this... I mean, if we're comparing this, we should compare it to, like, Johnny Walker's Blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can bring that next week. Okay. <laughs> you buy a bottle of Johnny Walker's next week. That's good. And you can bring that and we'll compare them. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Uh, it's unfair to compare those two. We're talking apples and oranges. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this is a blended whiskey mm -hmm. that is extraordinary. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? I can kind of tell some similarities. And I think I'm trying to understand. I think the single malt thing and the blended whiskey thing, I think I'm starting to really understand the division of between both. I can't explain the flavor. I think the malts are like it, it's it's very uh, singular when it comes to like since it's malt and this one is kind of like all over the place. It's got a lot of different things like here and there. But I'm not talking about the flavor. I'm just talking about like the alcohol. And as far as like the hints of oak and peak smoke, I mean this is really balanced. Okay, uh, so what the hell did you just say? Just just wondering what, what exactly well, did you say like 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 a single malt it's like it's like a little strong you know what i'm saying not always no but like this you can tell that there's different stuff in it single you can't malt, no well, yeah i i don't think so i don't think so <laughs> then what then how do you know it's blended <laughs> because it's because he just tells you it's blended because it tells you so, you're so, blended. so, so, so somebody blood. tells if somebody gives you a single malt and blended you can't tell the difference i may not be able to a lot of okay. times why i go to him first is because I like to let him talk while you sit and think about what you're going to say. Yeah. You know what? And he goes on and on and if, on while you're how, processing. How are we going to call you a connoisseur or, or anything if you can't tell the difference example. between a blended... You keep saying you, you made a whole rant about how there is very good blended whiskeys out there, blah, 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 blah compared to malt. So a single malt whiskey, okay? I, I think but yet you can't tell the difference. I, I can't necessarily tell so the difference. So how can you say something is very good? I think what you saw was... Because I taste it! I think what you <laughs> saw is that you saw it's blended. blended. So therefore you thought that there's going to be a lot of different taste to it. Yeah. And that's not always the case. Okay. Blended so, doesn't always mean that So what does it mean? What does it mean that something is a very good blended whiskey versus I think that's your original whiskey. question is single malt or that ain't single malt. Originally though, I think you asked what a single malt single is malt. compared to a blended. Yeah. So if there's no difference, why would something be more expensive if it's single malt? If it's a from comes from a single grain. Obviously there's a difference in Okay, okay. The reason it's more expensive is because it is a single malt. Mm -hmm. Single that grain is distilled. Mm -hmm. Single grain, which is distilled, mm -hmm. put in barrels, and the entire complexity and the flavor comes from that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now, you, and, but you what can't. You have, but you can't tell the difference between what you just explained between this something that's blended. I said I couldn't always tell the difference. Okay. Sometimes I can. Sometimes so, our blending goal might be to taste like like the product of a single malt. Like when you guys bought me thing. a drink and said, "What is this?" And I nailed it. Bang. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I knew because I had tasted it before and I knew what it was. Okay? Mm -hmm. Whiskeys, they, they, they get a bad rap. Johnny Walker sometimes gets a bad rap. But they shouldn't because they consistently blend a wonderful whiskey every single time. They're deep into it. They're passionate. They know exactly what they're doing. So they choose the best blends of the single malts they, they taste, have. They taste, they take single malts. And they blend and they the blend best. Them. They blend the best of the single malts that they think they have to make a blended whiskey. Well, and it may not be the best. Maybe one isn't the best, but it adds a character to the flavor that they want yeah, to make. Yeah, they're distinct. Make. They're brand. 
that's their brand. They want to have this taste for their brand so that you know when he takes a drink, he knows it's Johnny Walker. Yeah, but you know what? When I go to the store, honestly, when you say blended whiskey, some of that stuff is really cheap. And some of the stuff doesn't taste very good. It's almost like they take what's left over and then they're like, hey, okay. blended so whiskey. Because if there's like some cheap stuff, I'm like just saying, blended to me seemed like it wasn't that big of a deal. Like it was just like, hey, this is what they got left in the back. Sometimes though, when you're at higher level whiskeys, they spend that top tier levels and they put the best of whatever for their brand mm -hmm. so that you know what you're getting. Mm -hmm. I was fortunate enough, not too long ago, I was down at Ben's and Matt, all hail Matt. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. Matt had a friend who brought back from Scotland one of the single malts that is blended into Johnny Walker's. And so I got to try that. And let me tell you, I wanted a bottle of that single malt. It was amazing. And why would they why would they not have a single malt Johnny Walker then? They're working on their brand. Johnny Walker makes blended whiskey and they make wonderful blended whiskey. They may not There's have nothing experts. wrong with blended whiskey. They may not have experts in that area of single malt. So they have experts that are into blending. Oh, okay. Maybe that's the brand, yeah. Yeah, that's their brand. Brand blended whiskey. Yeah, they let everybody else work on the, the single. They're working on the blended. And I they're going to be the experts in the be what they feel. I is just the I best. don't know, man. I just I just feel like this too. I could tell the similarity. And then when I have a single malt, it's like it's almost like more refined. This is this is nectar. This is mm -hmm. this is what it should be. Made. This is really really good. This is what a single malt should be when it's really exceptional. This is just isn't that wonderful? Fantastic. Absolutely. Color me nutty. I don't care. I this hate, is delicious. I hate, I hate all of you. <laughs> <laughs> These two together. They're not in the same league. No. They're both going to Scotland. That's why. That's the only thing that's together. <laughs> that's the reason I brought that out. Is because I wanted to show. There's nothing wrong with this. This is really a nice bottle of whiskey. It's for, yeah. A beginner's bottle of whiskey. That is a wonderful bottle of whiskey and it's blended and you know what when i tell when i talk to people about whiskey they're like yeah i like whiskey but most of them this is like maybe 75 percent of them they don't drink whiskey like we do they have it blended in like their drinks mixed drinks mixed drinks yeah. so so i think if i ever wanted to try when i have people try stuff they're like you know i don't like this it's okay blah 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 but i think this yeah, what? Right there. This brings okay. the familiarity of the show yeah. to into the whiskey world. Yeah. Well, uh, that lovely young woman we had on a few weeks ago, Cassie, mm -hmm. she worked in a bar, and she basically served Bud Light and... Jack Daniels. That's it. Everybody thinks Jack Daniels is... That's it. <laughs> Jack Daniels. Sucks. But if you're going to if you're gonna drink uh, Tennessee whiskey, don't drink Jack Daniels. Drink Dickles. I mean, yeah. Dickles is much more of a wonderful whiskey. Not slamming Jack Daniels, but I mean, Dickles is much more of a whiskey. And you know, the price point between both is not really that much different. No, it's not. No, and I think Dickles is, I mean, I even like their Tabasco stuff, so it's really good. But that's a whole different show. So, okay. in recap, I think this is a wonderful uh, introduction into the Johnny Walker world if you want to break into that market that's i believe that is what we're trying to do with the show is not uh is to get people out of their comfort zone to try the different whiskeys that are out there um and then no i don't think so i think we're drinking whiskey and having fun yeah we are okay that's, that's as, a, as a, no as we're a drinking side whiskey note. having fun and making fun of the happy hunter and <laughs> oh absolutely but we're trying to get people out of their comfort zone also to try something else other than what you would just find at your local bar we talked about this for a long time, so this is obviously something to talk about and something to try. Now, on that note, Great Britannia, let's get it out of here. All for one. <laughs> and one for all. All for all, even if it's blended. <laughs> blended.